Hey YouTube, welcome to GBA for iOS Hidden Features. Let's get right into it. The first hidden feature is that you can share games. If you hold down the, the game and press share, you can share over the air. You need to be running iOS 7 and you need to have an iPhone above the 4S to be able to share games, but that's how you do it. It's a great feature. Definitely so you can share games with your friends. Always good. If you hold down the ROM name, you can actually click rename and you can change the name of the ROM into whatever name you want. I don't know if you want two Ruby ones, a hacked game of Ruby. There you go, you can have two games, so. I can't really show this feature off, but if you save state, you can't override that save state, if that makes sense. It's complex to see, but there shall be a link in the description on a written in-depth thing on what I'm meaning. So definitely check that out by Riley Tester on his website. So yeah, if you really want to get in-depth on that, just click the link in the description. The, the next hidden feature in GBF iOS is you can actually download from third party websites and not just Cool Realm to get your ROMs. You can use this wide range, like you can use Emu Nation, Dope ROMs, any ROM website you want to get and then just add them into the GBA for iOS. As you can see I'm searching right now and then I'm going to go to uh, Emu Nation I think it is, I don't know which it is and then you can just download the ROM somewhere and then there you go. The next hidden feature is really complex, you need Safari and if you put in a certain code it is in the Safari address bar you put GBA for iOS, let's wait for it to load up, for iOS then the two dots slash slash then put pokemon then put percentage 20 which includes spaces then emerald you'll actually load up the pokemon emeralds game file in the rom by pressing go load it straight up and there you go so that that saves a lot of time and also you can add this to your home screen if you know how to do it but there you go straight into pokemon emeralds a really hidden feature that but emerald loads up and always good this hidden feature with links with the last one, as you can see I'm using Launch Center Pro which is an App Store app. If, if I go to Emerald's settings, I will be able to show you how to do it. Launch Center Pro is like a UI type thing on the iPhone, I can't explain it. But as you can see my URL is the exact same where I point to Safari. I can change the icon name, color and everything. If I just click the application, I will actually be able to open Pokemon Emerald from this app. And you can add it to the home screen using some third party software. It shall be in the link in the description if you want to find out how to do that it's pretty complex by the way the next thing we'll be looking at is something called event distribution which i shall be having on my channel in a few weeks so definitely check out that it's gonna be showing you how to get certain pokemon legendaries and not just using events and different things rather as code into the game this is another feature i cannot really show it's using um, warioware twisted warioware twisted uses an accelerometer which can control the game quite a few games use it and in GBA for iOS, you can actually use the accelerometer as a normal iPhone, just like turn your iPhone, and it works perfectly fine. Download, put my WarioWare twist, and you'll be able to see. I can't show you because if I didn't, my phone will change resolutions. And it, yeah, just download WarioWare twist, and you'll know what I mean. Uh, there should be a link in the description. Remember, just to uh, find a written in-depth guide on this. The next thing we're going to be looking at is the sustain button. Uh, if you go into the little thing in the corner, I've got a phone call, god damn it. But uh, there's this, this thing called the sustain button. It asks you to click any button, I'm going to press left. And now, even when I don't touch the, the control panel, I just keep running left. And this is great for games with accelerations, or if you're doing the rare, not the rare candy, the, the, the daycare thing on Emerald, you can literally just keep your finger on left and it'll just keep running left constantly, and then you'll just get loads of experience. It's a great feature, especially on like a racing game like Mario Kart, as you don't have to keep your finger on the accelerating button and it's just easier to control in the long run so definitely a really good feature so yeah check that out the, the next hidden feature is the skins as you can see i've got a custom skin on my controller it's um it's hard to explain but like there's this thing in the version 2.0.2 .2 what lets you customize the size of the skin so that means you can have like different size resolutions such as i don't know the the game by micro skin so i'm gonna be doing a video on how to get the gba skins in a few weeks so definitely check it out when it comes out the final hidden feature in gba for ios is the third party controller if you go down you can see something in settings what it says controller buttons and you can customize each controller button to how you want it uh say if you want b as b or whatever this is control so thank you for watching my video there shall be a link in the description to rally test us twitter and his post on his website on these hidden features so you can get more in depth and learn more about it thank, please like it and subscribe i hope you enjoy this video more videos coming next week i don't know what i'm gonna be doing next week but more 
and GBA Fire West related videos. I shall see you guys later.